Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover the second um, part of the tools found in the toolbar in Google Slides. So what we're going to cover now is the paint formatter uh, tool, the um, text box, image, uh, shape, and line tools. So if you notice down here on the first slide, I have two different types of text boxes with two different formats. So now all I really have to do um, now is copy the format that I like and apply it to the text in this text box. Now I could just go ahead and say, okay, this is Comic Sans, it's 48, it's bold, it's italicized, and it's red. So that's one, two, three, four steps I got to take. Or I could just double click on the font that I like and the style that it is and the size that it is. Um, go up to the paint brush at the top left of your toolbar and click it. And then as soon as I click on one of these words, so if I click on example, it'll change example to the exact size um, and color and bold and italicized that I'd done with Eddie at the bottom in the other text box. Now, what I'm going to do is hit the undo button, and I'm going to go right click copy, and actually go control C, and then right beneath example, I'm going to hit enter and hit control V and paste it. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because if all of the text is if within one text box, when I double click on Eddie and click the paintbrush, I can now highlight everything and it will become that font, that size, uh, bold, italicized, and the color I selected. So that's the first tool I wanted to cover, which is a helpful tool, um, and that's the paint format tool. The next tool I want to show you is the text box. In order to do a text box anywhere you want, you can basically just click on the text box and you can come over to here and drag and let go. And so now I've got a text box that size and I can move it anywhere I want to move it on the slide. Um, I'm going to put one on it just so we know what it is. I'm going to draw another one and put two. And then I'm going to draw another one and put three. So you can see I have three text box um, three text boxes that I've created. Now, I'm going to go to the next one, which is the image. To insert an image, you can simply just come up to the picture and hit the drop down arrow, and this is going to give you all the options. So maybe you have a picture on your computer. So I can say upload from computer. Um, here's a JPEG image of a uh, thumbnail that I use for my Google YouTube videos. And there is the picture right there that I've inserted into the slide. Now I'm going to hit delete to get rid of it. You can also go um, and search for one that's in your drive, your photos, maybe you have a photo link, a URL to a picture. So for example, if I come to our website and I go to departments, technology, web graphics, go um, copy image address, and now if I go back to insert photo, I can go by URL and paste, and there is the picture and I insert it. So that's uh, an image just inserted from a URL. And again, you can also go right click copy image and go right click, let me click over to the side, right click paste, and that image goes into your slide as well. So, I mean, you have many options uh, for getting a picture into your slideshow. Uh, even taking, for example, a picture uh, right here. Let me go down to this picture. I can drag that picture right in to, from the desktop into the slide, and it's going to go right into that slide as well. So you can drag pictures from your desktop or your file browser or your folders and into the slide itself and it'll appear. You can insert them um, from your computer this way. Search for them on the web as well. So I can search for tennis ball and I now can click on a tennis ball image and hit insert. And so now I've got that tennis ball image uh, in the slide as well. And then finally you have your camera which will take a picture um, from the computer screen. So I've just took a picture of myself uh, with the camera on my computer. All right, the last thing I want to cover now is the object toolbar and the line toolbar. 
If you click on the shape, this will give you shapes that you can choose generic wise, arrows, different types, uh, callouts, uh, bubbles, um, and equations that you can put uh, simple ones in your slide. So if I'm going to do an arrow, I'm just going to do this arrow right here. And notice if I drag down, it makes it wider. And I drag across, it makes it longer. So there is an arrow there. And then again, you can just go Control C and Control V. And you can move that arrow wherever you want to move it in your slide show. All right. So that's basically shapes. You have a bunch that you can use um, and insert. And in the line tool, you have the ability to insert several types of lines. So a generic line, I can just do this and pull across. Now keep in mind, if I want to keep it like lined up with something, I can come over to a picture and go exactly to a certain circle. And it'll put that line right to that circle. So, and I believe if I move, it'll move the line as well. So that line is now attached to that spot on that box. So I'm going to do Control Z or and get rid of that line. The other thing you can do um, is you can come down and do a scribble line. So if I want to draw to here, and then I want to draw over to here and let go, I can draw my custom line uh, as well. So you just have different line tools um, that you can use that will allow you to do different functions. So that's basically the second toolbar uh, series uh, tutorial, and I hope this was helpful, and thank you so much for watching.